Today was a much closer match than I anticipated, but we still got all three points, and that's all that matters. Welcome to Talking Bayern, the one-stop shop for Bayern Munich content on YouTube. Today I'll be doing my match reaction and observations for the game against Greuther Firth. So to get right into it, the starting lineups for Firth were Burchette and Nett. And at the back we had Willems, Viergever, Bauer, and Meyerhofer. In the midfield we had Seguin, Green, and Griesbeck. And up top we had Nielsen, Hergada, and Dudziak. For Bayern Munich, in goalie we had obviously Manuel Neuer. In defense we had Alfonso Davies, Lucas Hernandez, Dayat Upamecano, Nicholas Schul, and Benjamin Pavard. In the midfield we had Joshua Kimmich, Leon Gretzka, Thomas Muller, and Leroy Sané. Of course up top we had Robert Lewandowski. So obviously Julian Nagelsmann did a lot of experimenting today. It was a much different looking uh, shape. Obviously we had a five back for a bit there and our formation seemed you know very flexible. We weren't really staying solid in a five back. Sometimes it looked like Sonny was coming more, more a lot back. Sometimes it looked like Sonny was tracking back a lot more and playing more of a wing back, and then Def Davies was kind of crossing over with him. So a bit of a weird shape um, today. It's kind of hard to explain because we obviously didn't play that shape for the full 90 minutes. I don't know. I thought we experimented a bit too much. I didn't love our formation. I'm not a big fan of five backs, especially for Bayern Munich. I think we're a more offensive team. I'd like to see more offensive football. I get the Nagelsmann usually does at five back. I just hope that's not something that we see consistently here for Bayern. I also don't think we should have been experimenting that much with a full strength squad. I guess the purpose of that is, you know, if we are going to experiment, we still have our best players on the pitch, and that's not as much of a worry. Um, but I just think we should be experimenting with other players more and resting other players. I mean, of course, we have some big games coming up. We have a game against Dynamo Kiev on Wednesday, and obviously I think we should be resting some players for a bit. Um, Dynamo Kiev, I'm hoping, is a better team than Firth, so I don't see why we wouldn't play Sanchez for the full 90 or, the, you know, at least 70 minutes rather than Pavard serving, for example. Um, so I didn't really love a formation, um, to be honest, but obviously we got the job done, and that's all that matters. So to get into the game, it looked like Lewandowski was going to continue that goal-scoring record, but that actually was an own goal um, after looking upon review. Really sad to see that goal-scoring streak end. I think it was at 18 or 19 games now where he had scored across the competitions. So obviously that's a tough one to lose, especially um, because he might have Pavard to blame on that one. Uh, it was a bit of an atrocious red by Pavard, making a tackle, not really much attempt at the ball, just kind of taking him out as a desperate move. Um, and Pavard, honestly, big fan of him, but he needs to be better. Um, obviously, Stancic has been doing very well, so I think you know Pavard, if he doesn't shape up, he's going to lose that spot to Stancic. Um, Pavard has fallen a bit of favor. He's not really doing very well anymore. I thought he was exceptional in the 2019-20 season. I just think he's been disappointing last season and so far this year. Hasn't been great, for being completely honest. Also, Nagelsmann got a yellow. Didn't really see what was going on or what that was for, uh, but I thought it would be interesting to point out. Davies, I thought, looked great on the left flank, making some great offensive runs. Thought his distribution was good. Um, he even brought it out of the box a couple times pretty safely. Um, looked a bit scary, but I think, you know, trust Davies to make those dribbling and make that kind of quick run out of there to save us. But yeah, Davies, I thought, looked exceptional on the left flank. He can obviously make those offensive runs, and when he brings that ball and crosses it in, uh, dangerous things happen. I thought Upamecano was a bit sloppy today, actually quite sloppy, especially near the end of the game. I get that you're tired and it was a, you know late in the game, um, but you almost gave up one or two goals late in there where he wasn't really getting rid of it properly, making some risky passes, that turning it over. Um, obviously, he's a bit of a younger player, so there's some criticism in this game. He's making mistakes. I thought it was exceptional against Barcelona, but today he was a bit off, and I think that he needs to pick it up a bit and just clean up a bit on defense. Unfortunately, as I said, Lewandowski had his goal streak come to an end, but I don't think it was really too much of his own fault. He was just too isolated. He wasn't getting enough service, and I think that was due to the formation that we ran with. I do think that Lewandowski you know, definitely had the potential. I think he could have scored if we did a different formation, but obviously uh, that's not the case, and his goal scoring streak has come to an end. Um, and it's not really his fault, I would say. Just too isolated, not getting enough service, and, you know, to the next dual streak that he'll hopefully start next game. I thought it was a great game by both Thomas Muller and Kimmich. I thought Kimmich had that great, you know, along-the-ground, right-bottom corner goal. I thought that was a great goal. Obviously, Kimmich is great at long shots. We're seeing those more and more. I know last season we saw quite a few, and even, you know, at the end of the season, 2019-20, I thought he was pulling those out a bit more. I like that one against Borussia Dortmund. Um, that was really good. So obviously not a perfect game from Bayern Munich. It was a 3-1 win. 
They did get that late goal. I I'm obviously a bit happy to see Firth score in front of their fans. But, you know, it's hard not to smile for them. And, you know, they're enjoying that goal. They scored against the best team in Germany. So you got to be excited for them a little bit. Fonzo Davies is going to be my player of the match. He saved us a couple times when Upa Makano made some mistakes. Also made some great runs across that left flank. So he's going to be my player of the match for today. Going forward, our next game is going to be on Wednesday against Dynamo Kiev at the Allianz Arena. Hopefully we get all three points there as well and, you know, maintain our lead in our group. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. If you want to see more content like this in the future, make sure to subscribe. It really helps support the channel and appreciate all the love that everyone's been showing recently. Hope to see you all in the next one. Until then, Mia Samia.